welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I am Kimmy, and today I'm gonna to share with you eight tips that will help you get your house ready for any party or gathering. Are you having a party? Are you having a gathering at your house? Are you freaking out a bit because you gotta get your house ready? Like if you have an hour or two hours before you, you know, the party starts before you get home from work, I got you covered. Okay, let's go. Let's go to step number one. Okay, we're starting in the bathroom. Now you'd think you'd start in the kitchen, but if you had to clean one area of your home, get the bathroom clean. People can deal with a little bit of dust, a little bit of clutter, but not a dirty bathroom. So you wanna make this clean, welcoming, have it smell good, lay out a fresh hand towel, get the markings off the mirror. See, like the toothpaste marks. Clear off the mirror, wipe down the countertop, wipe down the toilet. Um, empty the garbage. No one wants to see what's going on in there. And just give it a good wipe down, make it smell good, maybe spray something. But this is the number one place to start. that kitchen sink you may have breakfast in there you may have lunch or dinner so let's clear out all everything from the sink get it in the dishwasher start your dishwasher get that running and let's clean and shine up the sink because a dirty sink in your kitchen can make the whole kitchen feel dirty even if it's not so let's get this cleaned up Perfect. Now that the sink is clean, the whole kitchen can feel clean, even though there's some clutter on your counters. Tip number three. Now that your sink is clear, dishes are in the dishwasher, just give your counters a quick wipe down. Use your favorite cleaner, whatever you want to use. I'm using my Norwex cloth. Just get the counters wiped off. No one likes to touch a sticky counter. Ew. Or as the words of Jimmy Fallon, ew. a quick sweep or um, you could use your broom you can use I, I have a broom and I have a Norwex mop um, but get a good sweep of your floor or you could vacuum it up get all those like little things off the floor really quick suck it up brush it off whatever you got to do and then if you have time off your floor but if you don't like seriously it's like crunch time grab a wet rag and just wipe the spots with like your shoe just like throw it on the ground Wipe up a spot that you're noticing, like that is a complete eyesore, and wash that up really quick. Just spot wash. Tip number five straighten up and dust. Get in those coffee tables to straighten up your magazines. Just give everything a really quick rub down. Just, you know, the heavy spots where people are really going to notice the dust. Just hurry up, wipe it up, fix your things, fix your pillows on the couch, and you're done.
your guests coats, hats, bags. I have a really weird house. I don't have a coat closet. I don't. Like usually in most entryways you have a coat closet. I don't. So find a place where you can put your guests things. Coats, hats, bags. Okay, tip number seven, vacuum your big area rugs. If they look like they have a lot of crumbs or if they haven't been vacuumed for a while, just give them a quick run through um, along your baseboards if you have time, if you're seeing little things there. No big deal, just give it a big once over. Okay, tip number eight, Light a candle so your home smells really good and turn on some music. You want to get your guests feeling comfortable and just, it's a fun time. Put on the music, put on your favorite playlist, your favorite CD and let the music play. And lastly, have a blast. You're with your friends, your besties. Yes. Have a blast. It's the best. It's the best. Let's go eat lunch. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go eat lunch. <laughs>